We have some new documents in the Idaho 4 case, but there's literally nothing to go over. But of course, we're going to talk about it anyway. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. So I am uploading a video. Decided to check the Idaho site because Fridays is usually a day to expect something to drop in this case. So it'll normally show up at the very end of the day on Friday or it'll show up on Saturday morning. Lo and behold, I was right. There's three new postings, but they're pretty much blank. Now it is a little crazy that this is now the eighth supplemental request for discovery. It really kind of makes you wonder if they're just pushing all of these requests in just so that it can look as if the state is not handing over anything or if they really do believe that there's more. I mean, it seems like there's a lot missing in the case, right? So if, if we think that there's missing pieces and stuff not being, you know, hand it over or there's information missing that's just not making any sense for this case to be going the way that it is, then obviously the defense can feel the same way, right? But who really knows? They play their own games and we're just watching from the outside. So this again is the eighth supplemental request for discovery and it's blank. It's under seal. The exhibit that they attach to this, meaning the very specifics that they must be speaking about needing from the state, are completely sealed, withdrawn from our eyes. We have no idea what this is about. And then we have the regular documents that always accompany these, where they are asking for it to be filed under seal. And then, of course, we have where it is actually approved to be under seal by the judge. But that is it. There's nothing actually new happening. Now today is the 14th, so we still have almost two weeks until we actually have the October 26th date for all of that motion to dismiss stuff that was pushed back because somebody was sick. Now again, these are going to be split sessions. The morning session is closed. We'll just go back over the way that this is worded so that we can make sure that we are clear on what is happening on the 26th. So the morning session at 9.30 will be a closed hearing. The other session at 1 p.m. is open to the public. We know that's normally a pool camera and we're going to have to wait probably like an hour to two hours after the court session ends before it actually pops up anywhere. But we will be going over it whenever that happens. But yeah, this is the newest documents everything is sealed off. There's no actual nuggets of information or anything in here that we can sit and ponder over. It's just clear and cut. They filed an eighth supplemental request for discovery and it's under seal and the public are not privy to it. And that's just what it is. But that is it, you guys. If you liked this video, please don't forget to leave a like on your way out. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. See y'all.